The women's peloton was in Odenada, Belgium, for the third round of the 2013 World Cup, the Ronde van Flandre, or Tour of Flanders. The rain that fell on the two previous rounds had moved away, but temperatures were barely above freezing as the riders tried to stay warm at the start. The big favourite, as usual, was world and Olympic champion Marianne Vos of Rabobank. We are at the Ronde van Flandre, and it's maybe the one big race you still haven't won. Are you feeling good today? Well, yeah, I feel good. Uh, well, I've... Uh... Had a, had a good winter group pre preparation on this race. Uh, Binda was not too good, but uh, well, now for this race, I, uh, I feel good actually again. Another rider to watch, they would be last week's Trofeo Binda winner, Elisa Longo Borghini of High Tech Products. Of course, every race has its own development. It's not because I won last, last uh, Sunday that I will be the best one today too. The peloton rolled out of Odonada, where the race would finish some 127 kilometres later under sunny skies, with a steady pace that deterred any early attacks. The inclusion of the Mollenberg after just 38 kilometres had the desired effect of mixing things up early on, with the peloton splitting in two on the steep cobbled climb. There was then a solo break from Susanna Zorzi of Farron Let's Go Finland, who managed to get more than a minute clear. But the Italian was quickly caught as the strong teams of the peloton began to accelerate into the second half of the race. The bunch have been reduced to just 42 riders by now, with the cobbles and hills beginning to take their toll, with the race's key section approaching. The decisive moment of the race came on the old Aquaramont, as Voss, Longa Borghini and Emiga Hansen of Orica AIS powered away from the rest. Ellen van Dijk of Specialised Lululemon managed to fight away across to the three leaders, and the winning group was formed. Behind the four leaders, a chase group of five came together, with Lizzie Armit set an adrivisser of Bull Starmans, Anna van der Breggen of Sengus Ladies, Annemiek van Vluten of Rabobank and Luce Gunnevik of Orica AIS. But the gap between the two groups was growing. Logger Borghini, Johansson and Van Dijk all tried to escape Voss in the final run to the finish. But the world champion wasn't to be denied. The four riders arrived at the finish together, where Voss was able to use her superior sprint to take victory, with Van Dijk second and Johansson third. Van Dijk has finished on the podium of each of the three World Cup races so far, and now sits second in the classification. We try to attack Marianne because obviously she's the fastest in the sprint. Um, so the three of us uh, uh, tried to attack in the last 10k, but um, yeah, it's hard to, to make a gap after such a long and exhausting race. So um, yeah, unfortunately it didn't work out. <laughs> For Voss, victory in the race fills the one big gap in her extraordinary list of achievements. I've been pretty close to the win uh, several times here, but um, yeah to win it now for real after uh, well last year was a great year with of course the Olympic gold and the world championships but now to win also Flanders it's uh, amazing. The phenomenal Dutch woman extends her overall lead in the World Cup classification and will be the favourite in the next round at La Flèche Wallonne on April 17th, a race she's already won four times.